Okay. All right, thanks everyone. We'll continue this afternoon with Cross Tannis. Please let us know if you'd like to ask a question. Start with Jennifer Hammond. Hey, I would just like to hear in your own words um, what you take most pride in about your game. Obviously, you're a playmaker, but talk a little bit about what, what you really strive to do on the ice. Yeah, uh, like you said, I think uh, I am kind of more of a playmaker. I think uh, I think I kind of use my hockey sense uh, kind of vision on the ice to my advantage, uh, mostly in my game. But uh, one thing I kind of think about a lot and I've uh, grown over the past few years um, is just like my two way side of the of hockey. So always becoming like uh, more responsible in my D zone and always knowing like what to do without the puck being more uh, determined to do that without the puck and uh, stuff like that. So I've been uh, been uh, growing in that area the most, I think. So I like to think I'm doing that a little bit better, so. Answer, Khan. Are you across the, uh, you took a pretty significant leap uh, this past season. Just what uh, what clicked for you or some of the keys to your success? What areas do you feel like you have uh, this past season? Yeah, um, I think, just having a bigger role on the team this year, uh, being one of the leaders, uh, being one of the older guys, being 19 in the WHL is just a big step. Um, they rely on you a lot. Um, so I had, I got to be first power play. I got to be on the PK this year. Um, they, they trusted me defensively, uh, because I've been working on that game. So I think, like I said, um, like playing PK, was kind of like one of my first times doing that this year. So I think I grew a lot there. Um, like they trusted me to be out there in that, in that area of the game. So, uh, just kind of being, having a bigger role, um, being out there and playing with confidence, knowing you're going to get ice time and knowing I can do stuff out there, um, to produce for our team and win. So I think it was just, uh, having a bigger role in the team this year was, uh, really important for me. Uh, you play exclusively on the wing or do you play center too? Or... Um, I play mostly wing, but, uh, if I need to jump in for a draw, I can do that too. So I, uh, I know some pretty good draw techniques, I guess. How, uh, how eager are you now to, uh, you're going to be going to play in the AHL next year? Um, the plan? Yeah, that's the plan for me. Um, I'm going to work towards uh, playing in the AHL next year. Um, if I, if they end up not wanting me in there, then I'll uh, get sent back to Poland for my 20 year old year. But, um, I'm uh, determined to play in the AHL next year for Grand Rapids, and uh, I'm ready for that next step and uh, coming into pro hockey. So that still hasn't been determined. That'll be determined like in, in training camp or see how things go? Yeah, see how things go kind of uh, probably around training camp, I'm assuming. Yeah, so, but you feel like you're ready for that next step? I think so, yeah. Personally, I feel like I'm ready to take that next step in my career and turn pro this, uh, this upcoming season. So, Thanks. Jonathan Mills? What's kind of been your early first impressions here of development camp this year? Yeah, it's been really cool. I think uh, for me and the other guys drafted in 2020, we haven't gotten it in two years now. So uh, this is our first one. Um, it's been really cool just kind of meeting them like you like you drafted with these guys, but you haven't met them once yet. So uh, just like meeting Vero and Niederbach came in today and uh, some of the other guys just in my draft and then like the 03 draft also just meeting everybody is kind of really cool because you're all in the same situation. You're all trying to make the team. And what they were saying uh, the other day, kind of in our um, meeting to start the weekend off was uh, like, we're all pretty much future teammates. So that's pretty cool to see. So if you build some relationships now, you'll have them for a long time. So. Yeah. What was that like kind of when you got that announcement that, you know, obviously no development camp because of COVID-19 and then waiting for so long as you guys did, what was that kind of waiting process like for you? Yeah, it was a little bit different. Um, obviously, our, our year was kind of the first year, everything was kind of happening. And uh, you just kind of played everything by ear. And um, so our, our year, we kind of really didn't have anything set like every other mm -hmm. season or um, other age groups do. So it's kind of different. But um, I mean, it's kind of, it sucks that you, you want to do this stuff all the time when you're younger and like just coming to camps and stuff like that after getting drafted. And um, but yeah, I mean, it stuff happens. So yeah. uh, we're here now, but yeah. And then last one for me, what is, what are you kind of focusing on most this week? If anything, this week, I mean, kind of what, uh, Cleary was telling us in our, um, uh, meeting was to start off the week again was like, it's really educational week. Um, we've been doing a lot of seminars and meetings about recovery and hydration and stuff like that and eating. And, uh, I've been really listening to those cause I think, uh, recovery is a big thing in our sport. 
uh, for everybody to do. So I think uh, taking a lot of stuff away from those type of meetings and stuff that we have. So appreciate it. Daniela Bruce. Um, have you mentioned that you want to play in the AHL, you feel like you're ready and you signed the entry level contract back in March. So I think that is where the Red Wings would like you to play too. Have they given you any advice or tips on what you're going to need to do to make sure your game translates to the pro level? Yeah. I mean, um, just kind of working hard every single day and learning how to become a pro is uh, one of the big things for me. I think uh, everybody kind of learns that. I mean, we're still young kids. So, um, but I come from a great organization where they, they stress that stuff a lot and they teach us that there. So I think I'm, uh, I think I have, I think I have what it takes kind of get to the next level now. And I think I know what it's going to be like because that's how they, they push us in our, in Portland and uh, that's how they grow us. So um, yeah, like you said, I think just, I'll be there next year, hopefully. So, and like you mentioned, your first development camp because you were drafted in that 2020 class. Is it is it different being here and seeing some of these guys in person and being able to ask them the questions that you've been wanting to ask them mm -hmm. but haven't really got that opportunity yet? Um, I mean, my team, we kind of like the team how forwards, yeah. kind of like the only group we're kind of with here. So, um, I mean, more of like like you know, like you're seeing Chris Draper, so you guys are like, oh Dan yeah, Perry out there like um, how often. Yeah, we haven't really talked to too many staff members so far. Just kind of small talk here and there if we see them. But uh, I think we got exit meetings tomorrow. So hoping to uh, get some one-on-one -on -one time with them, see what they think and stuff like that. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Jennifer Hammond. When you have an NHL dream like you do and you roll up to the Detroit Red Wings who have 11 cups and you put on the winged wheel and you see guys like Steve Eiserman and Chris Drake around, what is, how does that feel? Yeah, it's, it's actually insane. Um, just like the history of this team, just being like an original six team, just like the, the history and stuff is, it's absurd to like even think about and like being a part of it is just like, it's so cool. Like you just, you see everything around here and it's like, oh my gosh, like, like you see the videos of this on YouTube when you're a kid. And it's like, you, these kids, these guys are like on the walls here. And it's like, you're, you're kind of here now and you see it. It's just, it's really cool. It's really inspiring also just uh, kind of having that passion there and just being like a little, little kid again, kind of seeing all these really cool things around the walls. Uh, I really like that. I enjoy that. So. What do you think is the, the biggest part of your game that will translate well to the NHL level? Um, I think it's just my, my hockey sense of the side, the hockey IQ. I think uh, it's just something that I feel like is at the top of kind of at the top of my game. And um, obviously you need to be a smart player to play in the NHL at all. So I think, uh, I think that helps me out a little bit, but um Got a lot of other stuff to do to prove first. So, what a Max Baldwin on Zoom. Hey, Cross, I'm curious what you got out of your year or, or close to a year in the USHL during the pandemic. Um, I was only there for a couple months, but uh, I think uh, with my time there, I obviously didn't have a great uh, stat wise time there, but um, I think I went through a lot of uh, adversity. adversity Oh, adversity when I was there and um, it kind of just it kind of prepped me for if I need to go through adversity again and um, stuff like that so I went through a lot there but uh, it's it was tough at the time but it uh, it kind of will work out into a good for me uh, in the future so if it can, in case I ever run into any more adversity which I know I will every player does um, so I think it kind of helped prep me that that way. And then we've seen some of the the highly skilled goals you've scored, you know, just over video the last couple of years. How, how do you feel like you can keep those things in your game, the things that kind of, you know, have made you you in some ways while also playing kind of a pro style? How do you kind of strike that balance? Yeah, I mean, those type of goals and stuff, like they don't really, you don't really think about it much. Like you don't really think like you're going into the game to score a highlight real goal or anything like that. So I think I well, just play your game and then um, I have confidence in myself to do some different stuff, I guess you can say, um, whenever I get the chance or see the opportunity. But um, yeah, like playing just the normal game, playing your game is the most important first. But if, it, if things ever come to try anything like that, I mean, I'm, I'm confident in myself to do it. So, Thank you. Last question, Art Regner. Hi, Cross. Uh, I, I am kind of curious, kind of follow me on this one. Uh, and I think Jennifer might have alluded it to in, in her question, but how do you stay 
focused and in the moment without looking at the situation, knowing that the Red Wings need players like you need highly skilled forwards and not let the dream of, you know, you thinking, Hey, I'm going to be a Red Wing in two years or something. How, how does that not your young, young man, you're very talented, not let, you know, your emotions kind of take the moment and forget maybe what, what, what the goal really is. Yeah, obviously the goal for me is to make the Red Wings roster before my entry level deals up. Um, like you said, just kind of stay focused on uh, growing my game and developing my, developing my game the way they want me to. And uh, just kind of putting the work in, putting the time in um, for whatever it takes to make that roster someday. And uh, yeah, I think it's kind of like well, that. Just kind of but how difficult is it though sometimes not to, as you said, you're walking around, you know, you see Steve up on the wall, you, you see those banners not to kind of get way too caught up into the situation or the moment. Yeah. I mean, uh, I don't think it's, it's not too much. You don't really think about it too much on the ice and that stuff, but uh, when you're on the ice, you're kind of just locked in and uh, on what you're doing and what they're, they're teaching you. Um, but yeah, it's kind of cool if you're just kind of, walking around or something just to see those things on the walls and stuff, but. All right. Hey, thank you. Best of luck. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Those are all the questions we had for cross. Thanks everyone for joining us. We